Welcome to another episode of Will It Work? I'm Kevin. Today we're looking at the Marumi 2000 Pong system. Uh, this one is actually made in Korea. And I would imagine that is South Korea. <clears throat> and uh, it, it has some interesting features here. It kind of looks like it has four player. Uh, two of these are removable on both sides. Um, there is no serve button directly on the controller, but there is on the unit itself. Um, although there is an auto serve button. Uh, there is a team selector here. AMA and Pro, AMA and Pro, with AMA being amateur, of course. Uh, two to four player. Uh, and you can do tennis, practice, squash, and hockey. So my thought process here is it's probably using the same chips as the early systems, since it's only offering the same four games. But they've added the color chip to it, because this at least makes me think this displays in color. Sound looks like it still comes out of the base unit, although I don't see a, a hole here. So it may actually display sound through the television, and this is just for aesthetics. Uh, I don't know. It takes C batteries, so we're going to plug her in and wire her up, and let's see if she turns on, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if she plays. All right, I've got some batteries in it. Let's see if she turns on and makes a display. Uh, so the sound is coming out of here. And it looks like we do have a stable color display. So let's switch over to the video side and uh, let's see how it plays. All right, so we have the uh, Marumi 2000 here. Um, green block. Let's uh, hit reset. Score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, I'm just going to see if I can... Oh, there's one player. Let's see if I can get the other... Ones to appear. And that doesn't do anything. Here, oh, there's the ball. Just launched out of that automatically. And this may be because I'm in practice mode or something. Probably. Let's uh, try hockey. And we will make it so uh, both teams are amateur. We'll switch it to four player. So it looks good. It looks like everybody is here. Uh, it is a little bit um, fuzzy, but as is usual with these RF consoles, the fact that the it's not shaking and staticky and everything is uh, <clears throat> is a bit of a miracle in, in and of itself, since some of the ones we've looked at have not been very good. Um, but it does. It looks like it, they do have a four-player system here. It's kind of nice. And... Uh, I'll switch it back to manual serve and you know runs on batteries it's decent honestly you know if this came out in 1976 77 78 maybe uh i don't know what korea was like in the 70s <laughs> you know they had been in a big war in the 50s you know so they're you know 20 years out from that and uh um, I don't know how their economy was at that point, having that the country divided in half. My guess is that there weren't a lot of people that owned one of these, and the fact that it's got everything written in English uh, is also telling me that it was probably targeted at uh, more of a, um, you know, like uh, Westerners or something that happened to be in the country, uh, or people maybe that were a little bit more upper class, um, middle class or something, you know, um, so it probably didn't sell very many of these at all. Uh, but it's an interesting little footnote, you know, it's a Korean system, and uh, we don't really see too many of those. Um, so yeah, the Morami 2000, pretty cool. I'm glad it's really stable and solid. It's good Korean engineering there, uh, you know, probably needs a little bit of tuning in the color part of it, but, uh, you know, overall, 
pretty solid and it's a keeper. Thanks for watching.